billionaire investor Warren Buffett brags that he pays taxes at a lower bracket than his secretary does. In this chapter, I will tell you how he does it. I meet too many business owners who are hyper-focused on driving down their taxable income by increasing expenses. These entrepreneurs shortchange themselves before they even begin. They brag that they would rather buy another $40,000 truck than pay taxes to the government. But as they ramble on at me in my office about their schemes to undercut the government, I can't help but think, so you would rather spend $40,000 on something you don't need just to save $10,000 on taxes? Wouldn't it be better to save that $40,000 and invest it in a new piece of rental property or better yet, put the money away in an investment account for their child's future college education? Today, MBE, I challenge you to think bigger. How can you use tax strategy to reduce taxes while avoiding expense increases? Better still, how can you defer taxes so that you are not taxed today, but rather in the future when you can always control how and when you draw the money out? How can you delay taxation to a time when you can create an artificially low tax bracket? I want you to think about how you can use tax strategy to achieve both your business and personal financial goals. 